So Mac OS Catalina has finally arrived and one of the highlight features this year is what Apple's calling Sidecar. This feature allows you to use an iPad as a secondary monitor for your Mac. Great feature for productivity, having some extra screen space to work with. However, you may be having some issues getting this set up correctly and getting Sidecar to work on your Mac and iPad. So in this video, we're gonna look at some tips to help you get Sidecar working. So let's dig in. All right, so there's a number of things you can do to try and get Sidecar working with your iPad and Mac. Uh, the first is just simply making sure that both uh, devices are updated to the latest software versions. So if you haven't heard iOS 13 and Catalina both through the beta periods have been very buggy and even the public releases have still been pretty buggy and so Apple's been rolling out a lot of updates. So make sure you go ahead and update your iPad and Mac to the latest software updates and that may be just a simple fix for your sidecar problems. All right, so the next thing to look at is just to make sure the hardware that you're running actually supports the feature. So on the Mac side, only Skylake Macs and above, so Skylake processors from Intel and above, will work with the um, with the uh, sidecar feature. Now, if I remember right, it's it's August 2015 is when Apple introduced Skylake Macs, and so uh, you can check if you go over to your Mac, uh, of course, up here on the Apple logo and hit About This Mac, uh, and you can check uh, right there towards the top um, to see when you your uh, Mac was released, and that'll give you an idea of whether you were running, uh, running a Skylake processor or not. All right, so it's a little bit easier on the iPad side. You just need to make sure that you're running an iPad that supports the Apple Pencil, uh, and if you are, then you'll be in good shape. So with those out of the way, let's dig into some other uh, potential fixes for sidecar not working. Now, the next thing is to reset the trust settings um, on your iPad. Uh, and so uh, if, if you notice, the first time that you plug in uh, an iOS device to a Mac, it'll ask if you want to trust that computer. Uh, and so uh, you can get into the settings here and reset that by going to general, uh, scrolling down to reset, and here the bottom option is reset location and privacy. If you go ahead and reset that, then the next time that you plug in your iPad to a Mac, uh, it will um, ask if you want to trust that computer. So sometimes just resetting that can fix your sidecar issues. All right, so this next fix is one of those silly bugs that I think has shown up in iOS 13, but uh, if you go into settings uh, and then select home screen and dock, if you you just toggle off this keep today view on home screen option uh, what that does is simply this is the what Apple calls the today view and iPad OS and if you slide back and forth now you can uh, kind of make that today view go away um, simply toggling that off has also fixed the sidecar issue for uh, some people so if you just cannot get wireless sidecar to work between your Mac and your iPad, um, maybe internet you're using isn't quite strong enough to support that connection, uh, you can always just use um, you know, use a, a cable to connect between the two. So I would recommend using one of the cables that came with uh, your iPad or with an iPhone or something um, rather than a third party. But if you are going to use a third party cable, just make sure it's MiFi certified, which is the made for iPhone or made for iPad um, cables. And again, there's a million of those on Amazon you can find. Now, the next couple of things to check on uh, just have to do with um, iCloud. So uh, you've got to be signed into the same iCloud account on both devices for this to work. And maybe something you haven't thought about if you have an iPad that's used by multiple family members, uh, maybe that iPad is signed into uh, you know, a spouse or a kid's you know, iCloud account, and that's not going to work with Sidecar here. So um, if that's the case, uh, just you know, sign into the correct iCloud account. And if that's not a problem, you can always um, get into the iCloud settings and just, uh, I know it's a bit of a pain, but you can log out of iCloud on both devices and then log back in. So if you really want to get Sidecar working and you're kind of at the end of your rope, you can um, go with just this signing out and signing back in on iCloud. Again, I know that's a bit of a headache, but uh, give that a shot, see if it works. All right, so last, let's say that um, you've um, enabled Sidecar and you, you think you've got it connected, but all you're seeing on your iPad is just a black screen. Now, um, mine's working here, but if you just have the black screen, if you open up the preferences here, if you open up display preferences, uh, if you try to toggle on and off the mirror display option, um, which is under arrangement here, uh, if you click mirror displays, uh, it might mess up your Mac display a little bit, but it will mirror both of these displays. Um, and then if you go to that option again, which might have popped over, yep, to another tab there. But then if you go to that option again, then you can click that off. So just toggling that on and off sometimes will fix um, the black screen situation with your iPad. 
All right, guys, I hope these tips helped you get Sidecar working on your Mac and iPad. That's it for this one, and I will catch you in the next one. Later. Thank you.